Hi guys. Hey guys. Welcome to JKJ Escapades, where you're gonna get a little bit of everything. You're gonna get some food challenges, some uh, different country snacks, um, sampling things, uh, haunted, abandoned, and uh, fun stuff, vlogs, car rides, camping trips. You know, a little bit of everything. Shenanigans. Hey. What's the name of that restaurant that you always used to take him to? Shenanigans. Say shenanigans one more time. I'm gonna pistol whip you. Shenanigans. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys. So today, oh well, back to this part. So last night, as you seen, um, I this one talked me into doing a black charcoal mask, and let me tell you, I will never do it again because it sucked. It ripped my freaking some of my mustache hairs out, and she had it up here in my hair. I, yeah, never again. I will never, ever, 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 ever do it again. So, yeah. As I said last night in the video, you yeah, get that awesome. video up to 100 likes. We will do a wax strip challenge where you leave us a comment and we will put it on a will. And whatever one that lands on, we have to wax it. And nothing inappropriate because YouTube will flag us. It would drop our channel. So, on that like note, that and we will not do it. Yeah, that's what she said. On that note, we are going to today, as the most famous people have heard, or I shouldn't say famous. Everybody has pretty much heard of this place. We are going to do the snack crate. Uh, yeah, snack crate. So, snack crate is one of the best places, in my opinion, to get. Different foods from different cultures. Foods. Foods. Different foods from different cultures. So it's not like your main courses or anything. It's like the snack parts of uh, the different countries. So today we are going to be doing the snack crate. And it, it is from... Dun, 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 dun. Germany. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Germany. Flaffenugan, that's all I know. Do you know any German words? Your ex-wife taught me some, but I forgot them. Flaffenugan. I, I used to know what rabbit was, but now I don't. Because r rabbit and kraut, and I think it's dumplings, is a big delicacy in Germany, the I, way I understand. I used to be able to say full sentences, but it's been just so long. Right. Okay, so... We have all of our snacks over here, and they sent us a card on what they are and everything. So. You gotta read it this time. Yeah, I'll read it. There's a, a recipe too. We can oh, read. a spartzel. Spartzel. So, um, I can't see this, so I'm gonna go grab my reading spectacles, and uh, you guys can talk to Kayla for a minute, and I'll be right back. Okay, so. They were out of one of the things that come in the crate, so we have a replacement snack, which is not on here, so I have no clue what it is, so let's hope it's good. He's a creepy clown. Hi guys! I'm looking for CJ Faison. Can you tag him in this? My name is John Gacy. <laughs> I'll see you in the Pokemon Forest, CJ. If we ever meet him, he's probably going to slap you upside the head. <laughs> that was my best friend, Sparkles the Clown. <laughs> okay, got to put the reading spectacles on because I'm old and I'm blind. Wait, 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 wait. Back up. Sparkles? Sparkles. <laughs> what? Because look at that sparkly smile. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't okay. he have a sparkly smile? Isn't it Sparkles a good name for him? What should we name him? Tell me in the in the comments below, what should we name Sparkles if that ain't an appropriate name? Sparkles, 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 Sparkles. 
CJ, 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 I love you. <laughs> okay, so what are we My starting Lord. off with? We are going to start off with the hair blue, hair blue, hair, hair blue, blue. Um, vol volcano. Okay, here. So, we are starting off with this. It is the hair blue volcano saver. Haribu Volcano Saver. Which I've heard of Haribu. They actually do sell Haribu in the States too. Um, I don't know if it's so much a Germany thing. I know um, a lot of uh, Spanish cultures eat Haribu too. So maybe there's just different kinds of them. Uh, let's see if I can find it here. Haribu Volcano Sawyer. These gummies are exploding with intense flavor, literally and physically. Experience a burst of lava in every sour, fruity bite. So this is what they look like. This is what mine looks like. It's green with the red filling, white bottom. Kayla's is yellow with an orange, yellow filling. With an orange filling, white bottom. So they're volcanoes. Are there volcanoes in Germany? I think so. I don't know. We'll have to do some research and look. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. A chewy. I think them being called volcano, it'd be hot. The shower. Oh. They got a really good flavor. This one's got like a. I taste cake. Oh. The center of them. Oh. oh. It tastes like grapefruit. Does yours taste like grapefruit? No, mine was straight up sour. Mine it tastes like that sour grapefruit flavor. But the outside tastes like green apple. Oh. Like when you bite bite into it and you're chewing it for a while and that inside buzz, it it it's tart. It's really, really tart. Well, let's you say these are sour, so let's stick with sour. Stick with sour. Okay, we are moving on to the Ma Mahoma Cracker Sour. Mayoma. Mayoma. Extra Sawyer and, and fruity. That was weird. Now this is what they look like. And they are. They're not on here. Oh, these are the ones that aren't on the list. These are the replacement ones. So. There are. Sirehimberi. Sirezitron. I think that's what you say. Let me see. Let me see. I didn't get my reading spectacles out for nothing. There's Sirehimberi, which would be sour um, berry. Sour lemon, that would be lemon. Zimineer, which would be lemon. Sour apple. Cola, which would be like a sour soda, would be my guess. And sour apple. So, we'll let Kayla open those up. Will you lay down and stop? My lab's being a, a pain in the butt. So it says right on it that they're sour. Does it smell sour? Yeah. Oh. That's like an instant mouth puff. Yeah, I made my mouth water. I like sour, but not when it's over So I wonder if these are going to be kind of like the extreme sour warheads. Oh, I hope not. I hate <laughs> those. Oh. Okay, I'm going to just reach in, random grab one. Oh, I got a red or a pink. Oh. Cola. Trade you. No! And Kayla got this one. Okay. We can't have both the same mouth. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Very chewy, too. I like the gum. I like this. It's so filled with flavor. Sour flavor. Oh, <laughs> Oh. I'm still chewing. 
So we're going to change them and try a different one. I'm going to go for the apple. Oh. I don't like lemon. I'm going to go get a, a palate cleanser. I'll be right back, guys. Well, you grab me one, too. Yep. I want Fanta. Okay. Can I go ahead and try mine? No, you got to wait, lady. But it's calling my name. What's it calling? Creep? Yeah. Or is it calling, get your ass out of bed? One or the other. Okay. Here you go. My all-time favorite soda, Fanta. Does it at least taste like cola? Yeah, it tastes like a Coca-Cola. Really? Okay. After you get past the sour. Here we go. The Coca-Cola one, she's got the sour apple. It tastes like a Granny Smith apple. Like, once you get past the sour part, which I haven't yet, but you can taste it, they taste like those little gummy colas in the little bottles. Is what they remind me of. Mmm. But the sour level of them, it, it's not, like, real extreme. But it's most definitely mouth-watering. Mmm. There we go. It tastes like a Coca-Cola. Mm-hmm. Like one of those, um, wax Coca-Colas. Or the gummy Coca-Colas. Yeah. No, like, kind of reminds me too, and I'm sure a lot of you used to do this when you were kids. Maybe I did because I'm a fat guy. I don't know. But I wasn't a fat kid, so I don't know. You take a, a pixie stick and a bottle of Coke and you pour it in there, remember? And it used to... Oh, I used to do those with Mentos. And uh, drink it and it gives it that kind of sour taste. That's what that kind of tastes like to me. You can do that with Mentos too. That makes it explode. If you put the cap on and you throw it. Did you know that? Mm, no, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do these ones next. There's a video. Mentos and Diet Coke. We gotta go to the store anyway. Right. Okay, what are we doing? We're doing the El Lockin Classic. Don't don't come after us if we pronounce these wrongs, please. If anybody knows German, let us know for how to say it. I will bring you on a live so you can tell us how to say it. And it's and it says Mit Fritchen Gruallemin Idoshin Hwanchian Hall. Okay, this is what they are. They're like Peanuts. Okay. So this is what it says about these. That's these, right? Yes. Okay. A puff peanut snack that will make you kiss cheese oodles goodbye. They are light and airy, which make them the perfect crunch. Ooh. Are these ones? Back off. Excuse me. Yes, that's what it is. I think these are the ones that we didn't get. That's what they replaced it with. Were yeah. these ones. Yeah. Okay. They smell good? We got a good smell test. Oh! They smell like Nutter Butter cookies. <laughs> Don't they? They do. I'll take those. Thank you. Okay, this is what they look like. They look like little mini Cheetos, is what they look like. Mini Cheetos. All right. Ready? Cheers. Mm. Mm. These are heaven. I wonder if they're on Amazon. 
I, you can order them off snack crate. Yeah, it's Individual. Order. No, you can order them individual. I'm off definitely snack crate. ordering me some of these. So, let's, uh, let's see if they're chocolate lab approved. You want one of these? <laughs> she spit it out. She don't like it. But I guarantee you my fatty pit bull would like it. Oh, she's eating it. She ate it. It's chocolate lab approved. Okay. Palette cleanser. All I can taste is like peanut butter. It tastes like if you were to make fresh peanut butter. It tastes like there's nutter butters to me. It reminds me of if we were to make peanut butter. Okay, so now we are moving on to Knisper Pufferies, right? Fruit, fruit, tiger, Knister, Pufferies, Mint, Mox. This is what they are. Okay. Okay, these are... Little bits of puffed corn that have a light fruity flavor. As you munch them, they will literally pop in your mouth as they hit your tongue. So they're almost they're kind of they're almost like a pop rock. They remind me of that like trick cereal. I hope they taste like trick cereal. They smell like trick cereal. Oh. They smell it in here. That's what it smells like. Yeah. It smells like trick cereal. Okay, like I'm gonna go with the whole handful. This is what they look like. Oh, dropped one. Ready? Here we go. Tastes mm. like trick cereal. No, I don't think so. I do. To me, they taste like Fruit Loops. Yeah. They have like a Fruit Loop flavor to them, to me. I gotta go in for another take of this. I'm a fat guy. Mm-hmm. Tastes like Fruit Loops. They're really good. They do. Chocolate Lab approved? <laughs> she spit that one right out. Nick Nacks. She's, nope, she don't want nothing to do with it. What is that one? Nick Nacks. Double Crunch Peanuts. Barbecue flavor. Nick Nacks. The Double Crunch Peanuts. This is actually in English, so I can read that. Barbecue Peanuts. Oops, excuse me, guys. Okay, Nick Nacks Barbecue. Crunchy, roasty peanuts. Coated in a salty, smoky barbecue flavor. They are a great on the go snack that can also go great on with an ice cold beer or soda. I almost said go great with ice cream and soda. <laughs> Good thing I double took that. I, my guess is these are probably going to be like corn nuts, would be my guess. They don't smell like corn nuts. They almost smell like a barbecue chip. Is what they smell like. They almost look like a an yeah. almond. Yeah. No, or a cashew. Sorry about the metal, guys. It's my dog hit the towel hitting the case. All right, here we go. Ready? Those are better than corn nuts, in my opinion. They have a sultry barbecue taste, and it really stands out. And you get the peanut, which is the salty part. They're like a sweet and salty trail mix. Mm -hmm. These would actually be, I totally agree with what this says, these would actually be really good with the cold beer. Mm -hmm. Maybe really, really good with the cold beer. After a long day of us working, sick and eating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree.
What's everybody's favorite beer? And no child, children comment on that. Over 21. What's yours? My favorite beer would probably have to be Coors. Coors Heavy. Coors Banquet. What's yours? Light and bottled. It has to be bottled. Yep, I agree. It got to be bottled. I'm not. I cannot do cans. I'm not bottle broke. Taste. I'm still on the bottle, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I cannot do Coors Light in a can. It's way too tinny. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on. Moving on. Got to sit down. Sit down. Sit your little butt down. Sit down. Dear Lord. Can't do anything in peace. Enough. Okay, come on. The butter keeks Das original. My guess would probably be snack cracker. Okay. So Lebens, what? Let me make sure I got that one. Is it this one? Yes. Uh oh, the light died. I gotta plug in the light. <laughs> so the beans, butter, keeks, crisp biscuits with a rich buttery bite. Fun fact: they are famous for each having 52 teeth, rimming the edge of each cookie. You want to count them? No. You want to count them? One, two, three, four, five. I ain't counting. But this is what they look like. They pretty much... Hey, they got writing on them. What's it say? Le Beans Butter Keeks. Smell they smell like... like they smell like, like butter. <laughs> okay. And three, two, one, go. This reminds me of something that they would eat in England with their tea and biscuits. They're not that great, in my opinion. I like them. They're dry. They do have a good flavor. They're real light. But it's not something I'd eat all the time. It'd be something that you would eat if you need to eat something really quick. Yeah. See if they're Chihuahua approved. Oh. He likes it. Our little man likes him. Likes it. How about the chocolate lab approved? Yep, chocolate lab approved. Want another piece, little man? Yeah, there you go. You can have it. Want another piece, Kyra? There you go, baby girl. Okay. And this is a picky dog, too, so... Okay, next. So I'd like to thank Snack Crate for letting us uh, do a review on this and post it. Um, we will be doing this every month with uh, Snack Crate. Um, we will be receiving a box every month from different countries. Um, like this one's from Germany, like I said. So be ready for the uh, next video on Snack Crate uh, from the different country. So the next one is Ballisto. Ballisto. It kind of reminds me. It says Yo Berry Fruits Du Bois. So it kind of looks like a, a Trix candy bar with uh, oh, yeah. um, a, like a raspberry berry fl uh, filling is what it looks like. Right, here you go. So let's find it here. Okay. A Bazadu. A biscuit-based snack, considering of a crisp cookie coated in a smooth layer of milk chocolate. Experience a burst of fruity delight in every bite. Oh, excuse me, guys. I'm so 
delicious. Smells good. Mm-hmm. They're bigger. Kayla broke it in half. <laughs> All right, ready? Everybody likes chocolate. Mm-hmm. That's all right. I like it. To me, it has more of a coconut flavor than berry. Okay. Next. So let me know if you guys like these kind of, this kind of content um, and everything. So tonight we are going to be shooting a, a another video. Um, it is going to be the hot noodle challenge. It will be posted tomorrow, so be ready for that one. Um, it's not the original hot noodles. We are still waiting for that to come in. Um, these are three different noodles that we actually found in store that are supposed to be hot. So watch for that video. Um, for tomorrow. What are we doing? And you opened it without me showing it to us. <laughs> We're doing the Kinder Bueno. Bueno. I've never had a Kinder. A Bueno. No Bueno. You can't have no Bueno. No Bueno. No Bueno. Did you know Kinder was actually banned in the United States until recently? Really? Yeah. This candy got mad layers, man. Beneath the milk chocolate coating, there is a perfect crisp shell, encasing silky smooth hazelnut cream. So it's going to be almost like a um, Nutella, in my opinion. Probably. Oh, that smells delicious. It's got drizzled on top. The filling. There was actually a way to open it. Was there? My bad. My bad. So, let me tell you guys something. If you guys enjoy sampling food and, you know, going out and having some fun, you know, having fun with friends and that, but you're kind of camera shy, just throw your camera up there, you know? document it and let people see how you have fun and everything and start yourself a YouTube channel at first when we first started um, we actually started another channel it was very hard to get used to talking to a camera and you know trying to figure out I want to look around the room and be like who am I talking to and uh, it, it takes a while to get used to but you you do get used to it I'm still getting used to it okay here we go Mmm. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Got that milk chocolate right away. We got that wafer. And then after you get that crunch of that wafer, you get that, like, uh, hazelnut cream, Nutella taste to it. Perfect. Whoever came up with this was... Good thinking. Good idea. Because this ain't a no boy no. This is yummy. <laughs> Why does other countries chocolate taste different? Taste it's better. like smoother. It, it's but, like smoother chocolate. Yeah, it tastes a lot better than American chocolate. I'm going to start ordering my chocolate from different countries. Okay. There is one in here, guys, that I absolutely cannot wait. We're saving it for last. And I'm really excited because it's one of my most favorite things in the whole wide world. So, we're going to go to uh, Knoppers. I think it's just Knoppers. 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 I think the... That's Knoppers. I think the... <laughs> K is silent. 
Okay. Noppers. Okay. Noppers. Confectionery bars made up of several layers that complete each other in an amazing way. Some crunchy, same smooth. This snack has it all. We'll see if it has it all. We'll see. And on Snack Crate, also, guys, there are um, different plans. And you can actually get like a deluxe box too that comes with a drink. Or you can um, add a drink onto the box that you're getting, the regular sample box, um, which it costs extra. But um, I think we're probably going to eventually move on and do that. Um, so you guys can see different um, drinks in that from different countries. And I have also um, contacted a few places about um, different flavors of sodas, like the crazy flavors, like a grass flavor, bacon flavor, you know, and all that. I'm waiting to get uh, hear back from them, so we might be doing a uh, taste test of them too. So look forward to that. What is this? Oh, this is the knocker. Yeah. It's, uh, it's almost like a wafer. That's exactly what it looks like. It's a wafer. I don't want the bigger piece. <laughs> all right, this is what it looks like. Bottom, top, layers. Reminds me of those, uh, what are they called? Wafers? Mm -hmm. Is what it reminds me of, but it's like layered. Okay, here we go. Nope. I don't care for it, guys. It's got that. Marshmallow taste to it, and you know I'm not trying to put anybody down. This is my our, our honest opinion, our review. Um, I'm not trying to put the uh, the company down, but to me, um, it, it has a real imitation flavor to it. It's not the company; it's where it's from. Yeah, to me, it has an imitation flavor to it. Put it back in the package. I, I'm not a big fan of it. I could do without that one. Stop it. Okay. So next, we are going to move on to the Hanada. Oh, sorry. Hanada. To me, that's probably Nutella in German. So, the Hanada is crisp wafers containing layers of delicious cream mixed together with freshly roasted aromatic hazelnuts and cocoa. Ooh, this has cocoa in it. Oh, I can't wait until this. <laughs> oh, they're individually wrapped. This one do one? Yeah. These look delicious. Yeah, they do. My mouth is already watering. Oh, they smell really good. Oh, they're strong. Which one do you want? Oh, okay. Just give me one. <laughs> this is what they look like. They look like they have a graham cracker outside with the, like a wafer graham cracker. The inside. Okay. Here we go. Bon appetit. Tastes like graham cracker crust. Truthfully, guys. It tastes like a chocolate pie. Yeah. To me, it reminds me of a s'mores. Without the marshmallow. Just the a graham cracker and the chocolate. You can really taste the cocoa, and it don't overpower the hazelnut. It just blends together really good. Really, really good. I would buy those, buy the box, because I'm a fat guy. 
Yeah, but we wouldn't get any because of your son. Those would be a really good midnight snack. Yeah. <laughs> and another another kind of snack. Right, Jordan? So next, we're going to try the... A Joel Buzzy. The little hard candies. They didn't come in a box or a bag or anything. There's four of them in here. They're on the other side. Okay, you won't know what hit you with these. They have a sweet and fruity outside and a fizzy popping surprise on the inside. Ooh. Oh. Here we go. You just All right. in my Here. face. You need one. It's different kinds. Oh, this kind. I'm taking the green. I'm taking this yellow orange. Tire, lay down. Stop. It kind of looks like a marble. You can see the stuff on the inside of it. Okay, ready? Here we go. Mm. With hard candy outside. Mm. I can feel the thing. Did you bite into it? No, I can feel it. Sucking on it. I'll bite into it for you guys so you can... So we can get to the fifth part. Oh God! <laughs> I'm not gonna have a sour explode. Mm -hmm. huh. Okay. <laughs> He's like, nope. Mm. Mm. The outside's awesome. Mm -hmm. The centers. Woo! I have nothing for you. Put those in there. No man to eat it. No, he won't. Oh, I can't get the taste out of my mouth. Ugh. I can't even explain what the center is. It's like when it busts open and it hits your saliva, it just like explodes and like fills up your mouth. It kind of reminds you of that um, citric acid that they put on the sour. It tastes like straight up citrus acid. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. I'm going to palm those off on your tongue. Maybe so, not this is the one that I was absolutely waiting for. Hold on, I'm not, I'm not going to chew on This it. looks absolutely delicious. It sounds absolutely delicious. And I can't wait to sink my teeth into it. Because I like cake. <laughs> so it is called Snack That Mama Kuchin Snack. This is what it looks like in the package. So this is a moist chocolate and vanilla sponge cake infused together to make a light and spongy marble effect. You have to say that word. What? Moist. <laughs> Kayla, hey everybody. Kayla does not like the word moist. <laughs> she don't like moist cakes. <laughs> See this cake? Excuse me. Come on, man. Give me that cake. Open it. You just squished it. Well, that means it's moist. <laughs> Lay down. Cake. Did you hear cake? Does cake sound good? <laughs> this is one of our. Come here. One of our mascots. He's being a brat. Oh, look at that. That looks delicious. Look at that. It's so moist. Oh. 
Oh, so well. Alright. Oh, it smells delicious. It smells like tequila. No, it does not. It You're smells so like tequila. It's te it's, it almost smells like rye bread to me. It, to me, it smells like tequila. You're high. No, I Here don't. we go. Mmm. Mmm. Dibs on the second one. Mmm. Guys. That is so good. You get the both, but best of both worlds. You get the like vanilla lemon, and the chocolate hits you. It's like <sighs> heaven in a cake. And it's so moist. <laughs> and look at Lil Man likes it too. Lil Man likes it too. <laughs> He's like, give me some more of that moist cake. Guys, don't worry about his weight. He has a um, some health issues, which causes him to drop weight. But he's st he's still at his healthy weight to where he's supposed to be. So. Yeah. He may look like he's skin and bones, but he's not. Trust me. He's he has a lot of muscle too. He's a he's a fatty fat fat. So guys, I hope you guys. What's your outtake on that? The lemon's overpowering. I don't think so, because when you like bite it like here, like together, you get that lemon taste, and then the chocolate joins it together, and it makes it perfect. Alrighty, guys. Nope. Oh. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Change my spectaculars here. Make sure you be ready to like and subscri subscribe. Oh, wait. Put a big elbow on that like button. Use some strong muscles to put on that like button. And please subscribe. So be ready for tomorrow's video, uh, the hot noodle challenge. We have three different kinds that we'll be trying. Wait, wait, wait. So be ready. No, we'll do that in the other video. She's being, she's trying to push things and push things, and different videos, different videos. So, all right, everybody, stay warm, stay healthy, stay inside. It is cold out. I don't know where you're from, but here in Nebraska, it's negative three with about two foot of snow on the ground. And remember, most of all, stay strong. And.